Now a year or two back I bought this lens, the 17mm f1.2. I wanted an everyday carry around lens in this sort of focal length but also one that was ideal for low light shooting and this being f1.2 maximum aperture it is. Basically I wanted a better version than the f1.8 and I did a video about this lens, you may remember that. However, this lens does feel a bit big sometimes. For micro full thirds, I don't think any of the primes should be any bigger than the zooms. So the new, the newly released OEM System 20mm f1.4 would seem the ideal new lens for me then. So this Olympus 20mm matches the focal length of my very first MFT lens, which is the Panasonic 20mm, and that's always been a favourite of mine. Plus, in full frame terms, a 50mm is often the ideal standard lens, a nifty 50. Well, in micro four thirds, that's really a 40mm. That's the ideal. And that's exactly what this 20mm is. So this new 20mm f1.4 is both smaller and lighter than the f1.2 and probably about as big as a prime lens should be. Now it is slower than the 17mm f1.2, about a third of a stop, but it is two thirds of a stop faster than the 17mm f1.8 version. But it is two full stops faster than the 12 to 40 Pro Zoom, so it does make an ideal travel companion to go with that lens. In fact, it could have been the lens that I would have bought at the time instead of the 17mm f1.2 if it had been out at the time. However, this new lens hasn't been praised by everyone simply because it differs from the other Pro Primes in the range. And that's because it doesn't have a function button on the side and it doesn't have the manual clutch feature. But that's fine by me because I've never used either of those. So this new lens is smaller than the 17mm f1.2 and more compact, but it's still fast and it's weatherproof too, which is ideal for today's weather. So in fact, it could replace two lenses, the 17mm f1.2 and the old Panasonic 20mm. Perfect. But is it optically as good as the 17mm f1.2? Well, sadly, no. And I know because I tried one. It's not as sharp as my 17mm f1.2, not by a long way, especially wide open. And I tried two copies of it because I thought the first one was decentered, where the optics are slightly out and it was given a soft corner, but the second one was pretty much as bad. And in many ways, my old Panasonic 20mm lens is sharper than this new lens. It's just a shame about the slow autofocusing on that one. And the YouTube channel Camera Conspiracies described it perfectly when he said that the AF motors in that lens sounded like they were meat grinders. I mean, listen. Basically, I don't think it deserves the Pro label. Sorry, Digital OM Solutions, I'm a bit disappointed. I'm also disappointed with the weather today. It was meant to be cloudy, but it wasn't meant to be raining. Oh well, I suppose I've got a weatherproof lens. So I needed a lens that ticked five boxes. I needed it to be weatherproof. I needed it to have good AF, but I also wanted it to be compact and have that 20 mil focal length. And it also needs to be fast, to have a nice wide maximum aperture 
and be optically good and perform well. Well sadly this lens only ticks four of those boxes and then left the room before it completed the survey. Well I've been wanting to photograph these, uh, these tower blocks here for a while and this, this is the first time I've visited when they're being completed. So I'm going to try and get those from various different angles. I suppose today where it is a bit miserable at least I'm getting kind of a, an atmospheric misty effect on the top. So if you don't mind the odd soft corner for a more bokeh effect then this lens maybe is ideal for you. Or if you only shoot at mid apertures, again it's ideal. Super sharp here. So my 17mm f1.8 lens has one soft corner so I didn't really want to spend another £700 on another lens that also has one soft corner. Not one that I didn't expect to. So for me this is a weatherproof slightly faster version of the f1.8 rather than a slower, slightly cheaper version of the f1.2. So for now I'm going to be keeping my 17mm f1.2 lens as my main low light lens and my all round everyday compact fast prime is yet to be released. So I'm mainly shooting with the 17mm f1.2 lens here in Manchester today as I will be doing for the next couple of weeks. I'm going to be doing some low light shooting pre-dawn and late at night and doing some locations in some of the seedier parts of Manchester too. But today I'm just walking around the city centre, kind of topping up my example shots, ready for my workshops that I'm running here in Manchester. Full details on my website. Mm -hmm. 